Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having high CPU usage and you want to disable the runtime broker.exe on your Windows computer. So basically, this is the process by which Metro apps are able to run. So if you're using Windows Store apps, I would probably suggest not disabling this. However, you can always follow the process in this tutorial. If you don't like it, you can revert it back. I'm going to show you guys how to create a registry backup as well. So there's really no harm in just trying it. Um, but if you do use Windows or Microsoft Store apps, this probably will not be what I would advise for you. So just keep that in mind. But we're going to assume that you guys really don't use a lot of Windows apps. You might just use standalone programs in which, I mean, I personally don't really use any Windows apps for anything. So just want to put that out there, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, circle back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before we begin, like I said, I would suggest that we create a backup of the registry if we need to go back or revert our changes, we are more than able to. In order to create the backup, we're just going to select the file tab and then export. For file name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range be selected to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And then just select save. And if you ever need to import it back in, just put select file import and locate the file. So if you needed to revert it back, that's how you do it. So now that our backup is complete, we're going to begin by expanding the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the system folder. Double click on current control set. Should be a services folder under here. Again, double click on that. Locate something that says time broker. So I'm going to have to scroll down a little bit. Right here. And now on the right side, you want to locate the entry that says start. So go double click on that. So for value data, you just take note of what's in here. You can honestly, you don't even have to restore the registry if you just take note of whatever the value data is in here right now. So in my case, it's three. So four is set to disabled. So if we change it to four, it's going to disable it. Three is set to manual and two is for automatic. So like I just said, if we're going to disable it, we're going to change it to the number four. So delete the three or whatever's in there, type the number four, and then go ahead and select OK. Once that is done, you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and that should honestly be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.